welcome to the part 3 of 2020 grade 2 MTAP math challenge elimination round. Please subscribe to the channel for more MTAP math challenge reviewers. Thank you. Number 21. Pedro is 23 years old while Maria is 17 years old. What is the difference in the age of Pedro in 2 years and the age of Maria 2 years ago? Again. Pedro is 23 years old while Maria is 17 years old. What is the difference in the age of Pedro in 2 years and the age of Maria 2 years ago? Solution. Pedro is 23 years old. Maria is 17 years old. 23 plus 2, Pedro's age in 2 years. 17 minus 2, Maria's age 2 years ago. Find the difference of 23 plus 2, minus, 17 minus 2, equals n. 25 minus 15 equals 10. Answer, 10. Number 22. Given this list of numbers, Blank 21, 32, 43, 54, 65, 76, 87, blank. What are the missing numbers in the list? Again. Given this list of numbers. Blank 21, 32, 43, 54, 65, 76, 87, blank. What are the missing numbers in the list? Solution. To find a missing number, first find a rule behind the sequence. Sometimes we can just look at the numbers and see a pattern. Blank 21, 32, 43, 54, 65, 76, 87, blank. In this list of numbers, it helps to find the differences between each pair of numbers. This can often reveal an underlying pattern. Find the difference between numbers that are next to each other. Example. 32 minus 21 equals 11. 43 minus 32 equals 11. 54 minus 43 equals 11. Use the difference between numbers to find the missing number. The difference between numbers is 11. To find the missing number on the left, let's subtract 11 from 21. 21 minus 11 equals 10. To find the missing number on the right, let's add 11 to 87. 87 plus 11 equals 98. Answer, 10 and 98. Number 23. When it is 8 a.m. in London, it is 4 p.m. in Manila and 7 p.m. in Melbourne. When it is 11 p.m. in Melbourne, what time is it in London? Again. When it is 8 a.m. in London, it is 4 p.m. in Manila and 7 p.m. in Melbourne. When it is 11 p.m. in Melbourne, what time is it in London? Solution. When it is 11 p.m. in Melbourne, what time is it in London? From 7 p.m. Melbourne is now at 11 p.m. From that time, 4 hours have passed. Since 4 hours have passed, Let's add 4 hours to each time zone to match the time. London will be at 8 a.m. plus 4 hours equals 12 p.m. By convention, 12 a.m. denotes midnight and 12 p.m. denotes noon. Answer, 12 p.m. Number 24. Calculate, 2 times 10, times, 4 times 5. Again. Calculate. 2 times 10, times, 4 times 5. Solution. Let's find the value of n. n equals, 2 times 10, times, 4 times 5. Let us first perform the operation inside the parentheses. 2 times 10 equals 20. 4 times 5 equals 20. n equals 20 times 20. n equals 400. Answer. 400. Number 25. How many three-digit numbers contain the digit 2 in both tens and ones? Again. How many three-digit numbers contain the digit 2 in both tens and ones? Solution. 
Let's find the three digit numbers that contain the digit 2 in both tens and ones. Those numbers are 122, 222, 322, 422, 522, 622, 722, 822, 922. There are nine three digit numbers that contain the digit 2 in both tens and ones. Answer, 9. Number 26. I am seated with my friends around a circular table. Seated to my right are my four friends then Rod. Seated next to me on my left is Rod, then my four friends. How many are we seated around the table? Again. I am seated with my friends around a circular table. Seated to my right are my four friends then Rod. Seated next to me on my left is Rod, then my four friends. How many are we seated around the table? Solution. Seated next to me on my left is Rod, then my four friends. Seated to my right are my four friends then Rod. My four friends are seated between me and Rod. Let's add, four friends plus Rod plus me equals six. Six people are seated around the table. Answer, 6. Number 27. What is the greatest proper fraction that is similar to 3 9? Again. What is the greatest proper fraction that is similar to 3 9? Solution. Similar or, like, fractions are fractions with same denominators. Proper fraction is a fraction that is less than 1, with the numerator less than the denominator. The greatest proper fraction that is similar to 3 9 is, a 9. It can't be 9 9 because it is not a proper fraction. Answer, a 9. Number 28. What is the highest one digit number that can exactly divide each of the following, 27, 9, 36, 18, 45? Again. What is the highest one digit number that can exactly divide each of the following? 27, 9, 36, 18, 45? Solution. Let's find the highest one digit number that can exactly divide each of the following. 27, 9, 36, 18, 45. These numbers are divisible by 3 and 9. Remember. Divisibility rule. 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is 3 or a multiple of 3. Divisibility Rule 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is 9 or a multiple of 9. Solution. The one digit number that can exactly divide these numbers are 3 and 9. The answer is 9 because it is the highest. Answer 9. Number 29. The product of two numbers is 24. If 2 is added to each number of the two numbers, their product becomes 50. What are the two numbers? Again. 29. The product of two numbers is 24. If 2 is added to each number of the two numbers, their product becomes 50. What are the two numbers? Solution. The product of two numbers is 24. Let's find the factors of 24. 24 equals 1 and 24. Equals 2 and 12. Equals 3 and 8. Equals 4 and 6. If 2 is added to each number of the two numbers, their product becomes 50. The two numbers are, 3 and 8. 3 and 8 equals, 3 plus 2 times 8 plus 2 3 plus 2 equals 5 8 plus 2 equals 10 equals 5 times 10 equals 50 answer 3 and 8 number 30 how many 10 centavo coins amount to 5 pesos again how many 10 centavo coins amount to 5 pesos solution 1 peso is equal to 10 10 centavo coins. If there are 10 10 centavo coins in 1 peso, how many are there in 5 pesos? Let's multiply 5 by 10. 10 by 5 equals 50. 
In 5 pesos there are 50 tin centavo coins. Answer, 50. Thank you for watching. Please watch more math challenges on my channel. Subscribe for more.